Got my iced coffee. Let's go. Hello and welcome. So today I am going to be doing a comparison, a side-by-side -side comparison between the Auric Cosmetics Glow Lust and the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. So these two products have been compared quite a bit. I do think they're very similar. However, I don't think they're exactly the same product. Um, I have been using the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter for over a year, maybe two, maybe almost two years, I don't know. For a long time I've been using this, I love it. Um, and then the Auric Cosmetics is a new brand launch that just came out in January. It is Samantha Ravindahl's um, cosmetic brand, um, and this is sort of a similar product. So both of these are like glow booster products, essentially, so you can use them in different ways. Primarily, they are both sort of a liquid highlight, but you can also use them as a base, like a really glowy tinted moisturizer. You can uh, mix them with foundation as well. You can use them as a primer. They all have that sort of function. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog. <laughs> She's playing with her squeaky toys. Cam, give it a rest. So they both, I think, perform the same function. However, the formulas are a little bit different, so I'm going to be talking about the differences between them. Um, so in terms of shade, I have the shade 1 in the Charlotte Tilbury, and then I have the shade Morganite in Auric Beauty. The um, Charlotte Tilbury one now has 12 shades. They recently expanded, and Auric Beauty has seven, <laughs> seven shades. I will say I do think the Auric line, even though it's less shades, does look to be a little bit more balanced. However, I haven't obviously gone in and seen all of the shades in person. That's not really possible. So that's just what it looks like online. The Charlotte Tilbury retails for $44 and the Auric Cosmetics retails for $45. So similar pricing, um, I do believe you get a little bit more product in the Auric one, but they're about the same price-wise. So I am going to be trying these on my face today. I'm going to do one half with the Charlotte Tilbury and one half with the Auric Cosmetics. Um, I think in terms of formula, just right off the bat, the Charlotte Tilbury one is a little bit thinner, whereas the Auric is kind of a thicker consistency. What I found is, I, I really love both of these products. Um, I tend to prefer the Hollywood Flawless Filter for an actual highlight on the face, um, and I think part of that just has to do with the shade. Shade 1 is a tiny bit lighter than Morganite, which is the lightest shade in the Auric line. Um, and that just works better for my skin tone. It's also on yourself, um, this one has a little doe foot applicator, which I do find really convenient for if you're in a rush on the go and you just want to swipe it on or putting it on as a highlight. However, it is not great for um, working on clients, I, so I have a separate one for my kit, um, and it's kind of a pain in the butt to get it out and onto a palette in a way that's sanitary, but for my own personal use, I do find this really convenient. So the Auric one is a pump, which is really, really nice. I love this packaging. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I haven't used this on any clients yet, but I do think this packaging is much better suited to a kit um, if you're working on clients. Um, and it's still pretty convenient to use like on myself, um, it's just not quite as like one and done as the Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, so this is what they look like, not blended out. This is the Charlotte Tilbury here, and then this is the Auric. You can see the Auric is much thicker, whereas the Charlotte Tilbury is more lightweight. So here they are blended out. This is the Charlotte Tilbury, and then this is the Auric on this side. So they do look pretty similar on the skin. So I'm gonna be using both of these products as a base and then as a highlight as well. I'm gonna do one on one half of my face and one on the other. And yeah, it'll be a good time. So I'm gonna start off by priming my skin with the Ula Hendrickson Banana Bite Primer. This is a vitamin C brace, brace based primer. Um, so it does help to even out the skin tone and it also just helps to kind of like smooth and Hang on to the 
product. As you can see, I've already done my brows and my eyes. I use the Auric Shadow Duo in Temper. I have been obsessed with this. I've been using it almost every single day. It's such a good, just like quick, one and done eye look. It's so nice. And then I am just gonna do a little bit of color correcting and spot concealing before going in with the base product. Since it is lighter coverage, I like to do this first. So I'm just going in with my LA Girl Yellow Color Corrector. And then I'm just gonna go in with my Tarte uh, Creaseless Concealer on the spots. And I'm actually gonna kinda leave that one alone for a little bit. And then on the under eye, I'm gonna go in with the Becca Concealer and Corrector. It's just like a really emollient peach tone corrector. Okay, so I zoomed you guys in a bit more so you can see my skin up close and personal. This is just with a little bit of spot concealing and concealer. I'm gonna start out on the side with the Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm gonna do what I typically do, which is just boop, boop. That's what I mean about the convenience factor of this one is you can just kind of like swipe it on, but it isn't as sanitary. So anyway, so I'm gonna take my little AOA sponge here. This is like, like dampened yesterday. So it's like kind of still damp, but like not Really, that's how I liked my sponges to be. And I'm just gonna pat that in. So you can see this does definitely give some coverage. It's evening out my redness. And of course, adding a nice glow. So that is what the Charlotte Tilbury looks like on its own. So for the Auric, I'm just gonna try and pump out a tiny bit because a little bit really does go a long way with this guy. And I'm gonna Switch my sponges so there's no cross contamination. Okay, the same thing with this one. It's like kind of damp, but not really. And I'm just gonna pick up the Auric with my sponge. I'm gonna be honest with you, see them, seeing them like side by side like this, they look almost identical. Like. You really can't tell. I think there is a little bit more shine on this side with the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I do think the glow is a bit more in your face and a bit more subtle on this side. And I do feel like there's slightly more coverage on the Oryx side, but like they look pretty much identical on the skin. <laughs> uh, I'm wanting a little bit more coverage in certain areas. I'm gonna take my little concealer here and I'm just gonna add some more under the eyes and around the nose, just right here on both sides. And just a tiny bit on the chin. Okay, I feel good about that. It's definitely, like, it's a light coverage with both of these. I honestly thought I was gonna be able to see more of a difference, but like, like, they look identical. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face. So I'm gonna take uh, just the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and pat that on. Boop, 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 doop, doop, doop. Do, 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 do. I don't know why I always sing that, especially when I'm filming. So then I'm also going to go in and use both of these as a highlight, so keeping it on the same side. Obviously, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury on this side. So for this, I just like to go in and like do a big swipe. I do like that you don't have to be super precise with this. And then I'm just going to tap that in. I mean, yeah, that's that's real pretty. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing with Morganite on the other side. And this one I'm just picking up with a sponge. Let's move on to blush. So I'm using the Ilia Multi Stick in Ladybird. I'm just trying to use this up, it's like almost gone. But like not quite, I can still dig my little brush in there. I'm obsessed with how like gorgeous and dewy my skin looks right now. I think I'm just gonna pop a little of this on the lips to finish off. Whenever I do a super glowy base like this, I do like to do a little bit of powder. Um, so I'm gonna do a tiny bit under the eyes. This is the Charlotte Tilbury powder. So trying to avoid that highlight area, of course. And then a little bit around the nose. Just so that my face doesn't look like too, too shiny. And then just a little bit of the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. 
boom. Okay, here is what we're looking like up close and personal. This is the Oryx side and the Charlotte Tilbury. So I think the biggest difference in terms of how these two formulas actually look on the skin is that the Auric one does look slightly more like wet in direct sunlight specifically. Um, it has that sort of glisteny like wet dewiness. Whereas the Charlotte Tilbury I think is a bit more like shiny and reflective. However, they both look very beautiful and natural and smooth on the skin, especially when compared to like a powder highlight or something like that. Um, but truthfully, they do look very, very similar on the skin. I don't think anyone would look at me and say, you're wearing two different products on each half of your face. Um, they really give a very similar effect. I think a lot of it is just going to come down to uh, packaging, application method, and just like the consistency of the product itself. I think I'm a little bit biased because I really like Sam's channel and I watch a lot of her videos so I feel more connected to her brand um, than I do to Charlotte Tilbury but in terms of the actual products they really are very similar and I think you could use them interchangeably even though there are these slight differences in the formulas. So with that being said we are actually going to do a wear test so um, it's already pretty late in the day it is oh boy 3.40 I don't know if you can see that. It is 3.46 p.m. Um, but I've been staying up pretty late, so hopefully we'll be able to get a decent wear test out of this. I also do plan on going to the gym a little bit later, and I'll be wearing a mask the whole time, so that will definitely test it. I don't think either of these are like extremely long wearing as a base product, um, but we'll just, we'll see how it goes. So um, yeah, I'm gonna check in with you guys in just a few hours. It is like 8.15 right now, so it's been on for about four hours or so. I did go to the gym and I was wearing a mask the whole time, so it did pretty much like rub off around here, all the coverage on both sides. I'm not really surprised by that. However, you can still definitely see the glow happening. I think there is a bit more glow on the Oryx side, but pretty similar. Neither of these I really expected to be that long lasting, so this it's holding up pretty much how I thought it would hold up. Um, however, what I like about these sort of lighter coverage dewy things is that it doesn't look like bad, it's just faded. Um, and I still definitely am getting some, some glow on both sides. So yeah, I will check in with you. In a, in a, in a little, little while. Hello everyone, it is 11.35 right now, so the foundation's been on for about math. Yeah, I think eight hours. Wow. <laughs> well, almost, almost, because I, I stopped at like 3.45, so like seven and a half, eight hours. Anyways, around that mark, um, Potato has decided to join us here. Oh, okay, goodbye. So anyways, I just wanted to give you a little roundup on the products and show you how it's looking at the end of the night. So as a reminder, this is the Oryx side and this is the Charlotte Tilbury side. So really they're looking pretty similar. A lot of the coverage has rubbed off, especially on this part of my face where my mask was and I was sweating and all of that. Um, but I am still getting a nice glow on both sides. I will say I think the Oryx glow is slightly more pronounced at this stage in the night, but really they do look pretty similar. Um, my skin still looks like nice and hydrated. It doesn't look dry or anything. It's just the coverage that has faded. So yeah, I mean, in reality, I think these are two very, very similar products. I think you could use them interchangeably. I think if you have one, you don't necessarily need the other. However, I think if you like one, you'll definitely like the other, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, they're both really, really pretty formulas. Um, they're like some of my favorite <laughs> formulas. And I think like beyond these two products, I really can't think of anything that comes close. Um, I think it was really cool to, to do this side-by-side -side comparison because I could really see just how similar they look on the skin. Um, I think really what it's gonna come down to is kind of your preference in like application method, whether you want a doe foot applicator or a pump. Um, and also the consistency of the product itself. Charlotte Tilbury one's a little bit thinner, whereas the Auric is a little bit thicker, um, and I think does kind of go a little farther. But yeah, that is all, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this little 
comparison side by side thing. Um, I think they're both really great products um, and they are both also pretty similar. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not already, please hit that subscribe button below and give this video a like and I will see you all again soon. Bye. Potato, get off of my light. What are you doing? Um, it is Samantha Ravenball's Raven. Oh my god. Or the little, 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 my back, my aching back. Oh, stretch. My back. I'm 100 years old. Cam, chill. There's another dog outside, so Cam has to lose her shit every time. Oh, I gotta go back upstairs. Ugh. Um, then at blah, blah, blah. with that being said, we're blah, blah, blah. you're a star. You're just a star. Hello. So it is like. Eight. <laughs> Why?